Hey, so you got a game capture HD and you're looking to obtain the best quality possible for your device, which is understandable. I got you. Or maybe you have this application, but you're experiencing lag and crashing issues. Don't worry. I got you. On this video, I'm going to cover all that. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into it, shall we? So let's go. First thing you want to do is load up your game capture HD application. All right, after you've done that, come over here to settings. Click that and make sure you're on capture. Choose your input device that you're recording on, your console that you're recording on. I'm, recur I'm, I'm currently recording on the PlayStation 4, so I'm going to keep that at the PlayStation 4. My audio input is coming out of HDMI, so I'm going to keep that at HDMI. Another thing I want to announce before we go any further, because it's very important, I don't hear a lot of people covering this, is your input and output. Always make sure your input matches your output. You never want them to be different by any means. Your input should always match your output because if your input is larger than your output, it's going to kind of smush the picture a little bit. And you don't want that because that quality is not beast mode. It's nasty mode. It's not going to look right. And it might be subtle and you can barely see it, but it is doing it. Same with if your input is smaller than your output. It's going to kind of stretch it just a little bit. You do not want that. So always come and make sure they match up. And as you can see, mine match, matches up. So we're good to go. We're great, okay? Next thing you want to do on your console, whatever console you're playing on, is ma make sure you go to your settings. You go to your display settings or your video output settings. Okay? Once you are there, make sure this matches this. You don't want uh this to say 1080p and then you're over here on mobile standard or 1080 i mean 720 you want this to match whatever output you have as you can see mine is on 720p so i'm gonna keep mine on 720 my rgb range that is your color range okay so if you see it says limited that's standard keep you're good if it says full if it says full then put it on expanded but I'm gonna show you a clip. I'm gonna show you a, the best case scenario why you want to always match your input with your output. Say for example, mine is on limited, but I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go expand it. This is watch my picture. You see that? How it looks all nasty. The colors is washed out. It, the, the color right here is not popping out. It's just nasty looking. We don't want that. Okay, so make sure. Like I said, you match whatever it says right here. If it says limited, keep it on standard. If it says full, expand it. All right. So after that, make sure your quality is at best because that's what we care about. We care about getting the best quality possible. All right. I see some people eh, put it right here, eh, put it right here, eh, put it right here. And why they do that is to keep down lag. They, you know, their computer probably can't handle it. Don't worry about that. Even if your computer is kind of trashy, don't worry. I got you. All right. So let's go. But always put this on best. Make sure it's at best. And make sure these boxes is clicked as well. Now, as for these tabs, don't worry about them. All right. So after you got this, let me know. You good? You got it? All right, then. Let's move along. Make sure you go ahead and click OK. But since I already have these settings, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of it. All right, so now we covered the sentence part. We got our quality looking beast mode. Now we just don't want our, our program to crap out on us. We don't want that, all right? So what you want to do is come over here, click the, your uh, HD preferences, and by default, I believe this, is, this box is checked by default. Make sure that is unchecked. Now, what... Uh, flashback recording does for you guys that just got the program and you're not really you don't really don't know what it does say for example we're playing a game like call of duty black ops 3 we're playing black ops 3 and we just got a sick tomahawk kill you know we got the program up but we're not recording and we just got a sick tomahawk kill man this was awesome all right what you could do you could come and you can move this bar to that specific time and then hit record. And yeah, you can go back in history and record what you just done. 
you know, and that's pretty cool and everything, but if you're not a big fan of that feature or you're like, no, I'm not going to use that or, or whatever, make sure that box is unchecked because it will kind of lag your program depending on your PC specs, okay? And the next thing and the final thing to do to cut down on lag is by default, all these boxes is checked. You don't want all these boxes to check. That's unnecessary work, which puts unnecessary strain on your computer. You don't want that. So make sure the box that you care about is the only one checked. Like me, I have my MP4 box. That's the only one checked because after I get done recording my game, my game clip, I'm just going to put it in my editing program, you know, uh, render it, and then put it up to YouTube. I don't have no need to go ahead and just export it up you know right away to youtube or to facebook twitter or whatever i can do that after i'm done editing my and my editing software okay so all these boxes is irrelevant to me and i need you guys to do the same thing if you really want to cut down on lag if you if you're a movie maker guy click that box if you you want to do movie maker and uh mp4 do that you know but all the boxes you know you don't really care about using uncheck that it's, it's no sense. Like I said, it's going to put unnecessary strain on your computer. And that, believe it or not, is it. That's all you have to do to cut down on lag and to get the absolute best quality out of this program. And <laughs> you have obtained beast mode quality. All right. So, guys, if this video has helped you, uh, if you your clips is looking oh, straight beast mode with the with the settings, the graphics and everything, let me know. Show me in the comments below. Give me the link. Uh, tell me what's going on. If you have any questions, let me know all in the comments below. I read my comments. OK, us gamers have to stick together and make sure to subscribe because I'm going to keep videos coming at you like this all the time i got more videos i'm gonna do to kind of help you guys out all right and make sure to give this a this video a like if it helps you out all right it's the one they call top diggy dog i hope you learned something i'm out deuces